Hey guys, Dantix here. It's no secret that the Mass Effect trilogy is my favorite franchise of all time. I love the incredible journey of Commander Shepard told through my choices over a vast, expansive universe filled with rich lore. I'd spend hours just listening to the Codex explain the universe like the Krogan's redundant organs or the Solarian's fast metabolism. I've always been fascinated with space, so I'd even travel from planet to planet reading about what makes it unique. So Anthem has some new Mass Effect armor and a Shepard dance emote released. <laughs> I kid, but also, no, really they do. But this video is about Mass Effect. There's a lot of effort put into the series, and now there's evidence that there will be, at the very least, another Mass Effect. Rejoice! So, as many of you know, as of this video's release, it's N7 Day. It's the day fans come together to celebrate Mass Effect, or on this day, Casey Hudson, the GM of Bioware and the big hon show behind Mass Effect 2, which was my favorite, and Michael Gamble, project director at Bioware, have both hinted that they are working on the title. We've seen some concept art that hasn't been brought to life yet, and some questions about where the next Mass Effect should go. So let's start with Mike Gamble's tweet. Where do you want Mass Effect to go in the future? Hashtag N7 day. Then we have Casey Hudson's tweet, happy hashtag N7 day. We've been thinking a lot about where we've been in the Mass Effect universe and where we want to go next. So both of these tweets suggest that they are still concepting how to build the next Mass Effect, but it's something on the radar. If you want your voice heard, I suggest jumping onto Twitter and replying to Casey and Mike's tweets. If you want to find them easily, I've retweeted both on my Twitter, at Dantix Official, and while you're there, you might as well hit that follow button. <laughs> so where would you like the series to go? I personally think cutting to a few hundred or even thousand years AS after Shepard would be the best choice. The events of 3 can be explained easily by the lore, with most organics being part synthetic, which I believe is the natural progression of organic evolution anyway, and we're sort of starting to see it already with us. It could also explain some cool new powers that you get access to. If the Reapers are destroyed, they're simply gone, and if controlled, they could have helped rebuild and then since been decommissioned. The reason I think the story should continue in the Milky Way is that the lore is rich and established. It feels like a complete universe, whereas Andromeda felt yet to be fleshed out, empty, and with only one native species and very little lore. We came to love the series for its lore, for its background, for the established world building, and it seemed to be kind of all abandoned with Andromeda, so let's go back there and expand upon it further. Then there's the obvious. If the studio was to come out with an Andromeda 2, there's a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths that simply won't go away. The name is tainted, and in this case, even a great game would be marred by controversy. Frankly, as a diehard fan, I don't think Andromeda did enough to warrant a sequel. Starting fresh with a new protagonist and a new set of problems seems to be the best way forward. It should be a semi-linear experience like it was in 1, 2, and 3, and should bring the same grand scale as the trilogy, or be a more self-contained, humble story, like a group of dashing rogues surviving the universe. No in-between. I feel like Andromeda kind of was that in-between. What do you think? So now let's have a look at some of the concept art shown off by Casey. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is new art or art that has yet to be used for the series, but I strongly believe it's old art, you can just never be sure. I would not be unhappy if we visited worlds like these. The first seems to be a lush jungle world, complete with a monkey-like creature, two seemingly human troopers and a Krogan that looks like Grunt next to the Mako, and right next to that is a crashed piece of space station. Next is clearly the Normandy visiting an alien city. It could be Earth in the future, but I doubt it. It looks like you'll be jetting to the bay-like middle part and doing your exploring there. I don't have much to say about the next part, some structures on a world and below an alien on an alien camel. We know these structures are typically out of the box assembled for new settlements in the universe, so expect there to be a lot of uncharted areas. Last but not least is a water world. We see underwater structures biblically parting the seas, no doubt opening areas for you to explore on foot. In the distance we see a lot of these structures, so I'm hoping for a Bioshock-like underwater experience here. Flying overhead is the Normandy. 
We have yet to fully explore what an underwater city could be in the universe. The closest we have was the Leviathan DLC, but you never really go down into the depths. If you guys remember the planet Manan in Knights of the Old Republic, exploring like that underwater in an environment suit would be pretty interesting. Phyraxian sharks and all. I'm excited knowing that Mass Effect isn't in the bin and off Bioware's radar. It's confirmed that they are working on Dragon Age 5 as well as stated by Casey Hudson. I can say however that one of our projects has a large and growing team in Edmonton working through pre-production and based on the progress I'm seeing, I can confirm that indeed the Dread Wolf rises. So no doubt we're in for a new Dragon Age before a new Mass Effect, which will definitely tide me over. I really hope that Bioware goes back to its roots and makes a story that we can all get behind for the next Mass Effect. No pandering, no signaling, no violent insertion of our deals, an organic story that doesn't force itself on the audience, allows us to experience the same joy we got all the way back when Mass Effect 1 was released. So now that you know that Mass Effect is being concepted in the big boy room of Bioware head office, what are you hoping for? Let me know below. My channel is going to be covering the absolute Jacob Taylor out of Mass Effect and Dragon Age, so keep your eyes peeled to Slash Dantix. Check out my Mass Effect squad mate tier list while you wait, and I'll be back very soon with more.